In order to celebrate the Missouri State Bicentennial, the St. Louis Art Museum is presenting an exhibition titled Art Along the Rivers. Art Along the Rivers draws together 150 objects from over a thousand years of production, taken from this area we've called the Confluence Region to show the variety and innovation and creativity of art that was produced here. In this region is the confluence of the three most powerful rivers in North America. We see the Ohio, the Mississippi, and the Missouri all meeting. Once we had defined this region, then the job was to find out what's out there. And I have to say that it really was a process of discovery. Many exhibitions are begun by curators because it's an area of our expertise or it's an area that is a specialty of the museum, or it's usually you already have what you want to do and then you lay it out, or you already know the field. And this really was almost the opposite. We knew this area shaped by confluence of both rivers, of resources, that it brought a particular kind of people into this area. And so many people were drawn here for supplies or as a takeoff point to go further west. And this left a repository of objects that we knew were here. We just didn't know what they were. So we just started visiting. We started out on what we think of as an epic road trip through most of 2019. We visited smaller institutions, larger institutions, museums, libraries, small historical societies, private collections, bed and breakfasts, you name it. At first we considered kind of the obvious ways to go about this, but what we decided was that we really wanted to focus on themes and themes of our own choosing. The themes would set up dialogues that would spark new and interesting discoveries about these objects. We felt too that this would be something that people from this region could really celebrate, really could identify with. Once we had sorted through all of our possible objects. Really the hardest part in my mind then began um, of putting together this exhibition. How are we going to cut this list of 3,000 down to 150? So the first section is Art at the Confluence, and in that section we look at art that was brought here because artists were drawn to this area because it was an area of confluence, an area of trade, scientific, commercial, military, a center. The exhibition's second section is called Art on Display, and it brings together a remarkable variety of objects that viewers could have seen in 19th and early 20th century St. Louis. Our third section, called Art in Production, it asks viewers to think about, as we've described it, objects that sell. And what we mean by that are literally objects for sale, so a lot of works of functional, decorative arts. The fourth section is titled Art in Communities, and it looks at those artists who worked within a community with each other and the production that they made. It also looks at artists who worked outside of communities but still had that compulsion to create as a way to explore more deeply this issue of creativity. The exhibition's fifth section uh, is called Art as Advocate, and it brings together objects that relate to significant events in the history of the Confluence region. But more importantly, it really asks viewers to consider how objects and how their artists who created them advocate for particular political, environmental, and social viewpoints. So when someone comes to the exhibition, what I hope they take away is a sense of belonging, a sense of seeing their own world and their own experiences, a sense of discovery, of seeing things that they had no idea were here, and that maybe then when you're driving the roads that you drive every day in the Confluence region, that curiosity and discovery continues. I hope that many viewers could somehow see themselves or the history of their own communities in this exhibition and hopefully for residents of the Confluence region, maybe a feeling of deeper connection to their area.